My name is Lauren Hope Glory. I'm the CEO of Moving On TV. Now my logo is bringing the hope and glory back into our lives. Now the reason I have this logo is because without hope, we don't have anything. And then once you get the hope, it opens up your heart and then you can bring in the glory. So today, and hopefully over the next few episodes, I want to give you some hope. I want to tell you what's going on with Moving On TV and why I'm doing it. And I want to help you on your journey through the lockdown and beyond. So, hope and glory. <laughs> In order to have the world that we want, we need to wake up, we need to start discovering the things that have been hidden. So what's happened is a light has come in, a big light, and it's shining on everything. And so you're starting to see everything that was hidden. It's always been there, guys, but it's just been hidden. And now it can't be hidden anymore. Okay? So I'm going to be providing programs to show you what was hidden up until now to light up the darkness, to show you what's been hidden. Because until you come into the light, until we bring this stuff into the light, we can't heal it. It's the same analogy as if someone has a serious addiction. They could go around saying, there's nothing wrong with me, I don't have this addiction. But the minute they come into the light is the minute they accept that they have an addiction. They come out of denial and they say, mm, yes, I do have an addiction and I want some help for it. So in a way, that's what's happening here. We're highlighting everything that has been hidden, everything that has been pushed down, the darkness that nobody wanted to see the sex trafficking of children, SRA, all the programs I've been putting on for you. Because the minute we bring it into the light, we know it's there, and then we can go out and we can heal it. So that's why I'm providing you with programs that are bringing in a lot of the darkness of what's going on in the world. However, because I call myself Hope Glory, and Moving On TV is always full of hope, I'm also bringing you lightness. And so today is about the light. Today is about how powerful you are, how amazing the human spirit is, and how there is nothing on this planet or beyond that can get rid of the light that you are. Your light shines so brightly. It may not at the moment, but you can tune into it and you can feel it. Now is the time to start realizing your dreams. Now is the time to start understanding what you're here for. Why are you here? What makes you tick? What do you love doing? I love making programs. I love giving out the news in a positive way, but an enlightening way. You have to show the dark in order to show the light. You have to show the light in order to have the dark. They both work together. You can't have them separate. So can you use this time, this time that you're on your own, or this time that you've got time to think, you've got time to meditate? Why not get out a piece of paper and write down everything you've ever wanted to do with your life? Just get on with it. What is your dream? What got forgotten? What is hidden inside you? What is your little child trying to say? What are you unhappy about? What are you happy about? It's just about getting out there now and feeling, really feeling what you want to do with your life. How do you fit into the jigsaw that we are here in the world? because we're all part of this big jigsaw. <laughs> you know, Wayne Dyer talks about the world as um, a universe, one song. Now, up until now, we created a cacophony of noise. 
but what if we could be one song? What if you could be one harmony and you could be one harmony and I could be one harmony and we all fit together beautifully in harmony as a universe? One song, universe, a beautiful song, or even like a big jigsaw. Each part of you is a little part of that jigsaw fitting into that big jigsaw. You are all unique. We are all unique. We are all wonderful. This is the time for you to realize you are amazing. You have gifts. You have talents. You are amazing. This is the time to understand that you are all a part of this tapestry. All our colors and our religions and our beliefs make up this beautiful tapestry that we are. This is the time to understand that when you put all our colors together, if you mix lots of colors together, you're going to eventually come up with pure light. This is the time to understand that when you put us all together, we build this beautiful world where we love each other and accept each other regardless of religion, regardless of color. We are all part of this big, beautiful planet that we love. Nothing, nothing, nothing can destroy us. The human spirit is so strong. I can give you examples of my own life, but why not go and talk about Viktor Frankl, who came through the Holocaust, for God's sake. And why not talk about Werner in the book Simply Amazing, who came through the Holocaust and survived as a young man by doing quizzes in the concentration camps. It didn't matter what the Nazis were doing. He came through and he's now in his 90s and he's got a big family and he's the happiest man on the planet. That is the human spirit. It doesn't matter what that lot tried to do to us. It doesn't matter who they are or what they are. They are 1%. We are billions and we are billions, little, little, little dots of light. That's what we are inside. You bring all those little dots together. They haven't got a chance in hell. <laughs> Guys, I'm here to give you the good news. Everything they did was to hurt us. They created the internet in order to control us, in order to hurt us. We weren't meant to use it for the good. But guess what the internet has done? It's ended wars. It's brought people together from all over the world. It's given me an opportunity to do stuff on the internet, to run a TV station. Businesses have sprouted up all over the world thanks to the internet. They always shoot themselves in the foot, guys. These people are stupid. They don't have what we have. They don't have common sense. They don't have love. And that's why they want to rule us. I don't believe they're people. I believe it's another race. The human race is love and empathy and light. These beings are not love. They have no love. They have no empathy. They couldn't do to children what they do. They couldn't kill us with their technological stuff, with their bio-warfare, with their whatever it is they do. They couldn't deny us the right to know what they know, which is to live, really live, heal yourself, not need to get sick, to travel. Have you watched The Loop? Watch The Loop. It's a really incredible program. Do you know that the third story in the loop, the young woman who actually freezes the world, she just happens to be Chinese. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that fascinating? But all through time, they have tried to destroy us with wars, with terrorist attacks. And I've been doing my research and I've been waking up, I've been waking up and I've noticed things. And I'm going to tell you these things over the next few programs that I do. But today I want to tell you to, to be in the light, to find the light. I want to tell you that whatever happens, they cannot conquer the human race. It's impossible. Because 
we are not stupid. And that's why they're jealous of us. They're jealous of us, guys, because we have a light that shines so brightly. We adore our children. We adore our planet. And now we're taking it back. This is our time now to take back our power. We are love. And they are so jealous of that. And that's what they're trying to take from us. They're trying to take the light. They're trying to take the planet. They're trying to take whatever we love. We can't let that happen. Every day I will get on here, I'm moving on TV, and I will give you hope. And the hope will lead to glory because they will not take that from us. So I want you to think about what makes you special. What makes you unique? What do you want to do? What do I want to do? Because then they cannot win. It's impossible for them to win because they feed off our fear and our bitterness. They fed off our wars and now there's no wars. It's impossible to have wars. I knew this when I did the children's peace film with a thousand kids. You are light. When we all come together, the light is magnificent. Millions of us meditated for peace and love and light. And that's why this is going to be amazing when it's over. But this is a transition period. When I went into the therapeutic community, I had a transition period of nearly two years. Two years to bring everything up, to cry, to scream, to understand what was wrong with me. And when that happened, I came out with pure inner peace. This is another transition period for us. These people are stupid. They do not have the common sense that the human race has. They can't laugh. <laughs> they can't laugh. They can't cry. They feel nothing. They are jealous of us. They want everything that we have. They want the love. They want the light. Well, guess what? They can't have it. <laughs> they can't have it. Because even if I wake up and I feel like shit, I can get out there and I can do something for another human being or I can feel grateful. I can do some music or all of you can do something. You can hug yourselves. You can play with your pets. You can hug your fellow man who you, you're near while you're social distancing which I'm not even going to go into. They want you to believe the fear. This will be over soon. Believe me, the same way as the bushfires ended, the same way as every terrorist attack ended, the same way as every war ended. This will be over soon. And then, within a few months, there'll be something else. Because that's how they operate. Until we completely stop, until we stop believing them. Because what you believe, you create. What you believe in, you create. You will see it when you believe it. So if I go around all day today believing that this is a wonderful opportunity for me to shine the light, to tell you as the person who runs Moving on TV, that I created this channel because I was fed up with the violence. I was fed up with turning the TV on and seeing a progression, more and more of a progression of violence and, 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 and police everywhere and law and order everywhere. And every advert was a chemical, a drug. I got fed up with it. And unfortunately, um, as an actress, to be asked to take your clothes off, you have to tick a box. I got fed up with it and I thought I'm forming moving on TV. So five years ago, I formed it, but I didn't really know what to do with it till now. And I wanted it to be for you, for everyone. And it's shining a light. But in order to shine the light, it has to show you the darkness. And so I will put on that other side because we need to bring that up. It's the same as if you get sick, you have a fever, your body creates a fever, and then your body gets well, you detoxify. 
So what I'm trying to say here is over the next couple of days, weeks, whatever, when I can get on and do my editing, because I do everything myself. And if you feel called to, to give me a donation, that's brilliant because it really helps me. This is my work now. I will tell you about how I woke up, how the progression happened for me. I will start off by saying the first enlightened time I had, the first feeling in my, mind, in my head of what's going on here. I grew up in Israel and there's a couple of incidents. One was when I went to the synagogue and read, thank you for making me the chosen people so I could suffer. Now, excuse me, no, that didn't work for me at all. And I thought, no, that's not right. I don't like being the chosen people. I don't want to suffer. If you keep saying I'm the chosen people, everyone's going to hate me. I don't want to be the chosen ones. So that was the first one. Second time was when I was studying history. I loved history. And they gave us a brilliant question. How do wars happen? What led to the next war? And I kind of thought about it. I'm very analytical and creative. And I wrote down, I looked at what happened before and I kept looking at it and I saw one war does create another war. And I started to wake up around that. And remember, I grew up in wars and now I question everything. I question everything. Was the media spinning lies to me when I was a child just to keep me frightened, to make me unhappy, to make me want to go out and go in the army? I don't know anything, guys. I question everything. And that's why you have to question everything. So that was the beginning of my wake up call. And I decided I had to go in the army, I went in the army for two years. That's how it is, 18 months. And then I thought I'd had enough. I'm Irish and I didn't want to be there anyway. I'm getting out. And so I got out and I got my freedom. And the best thing for me, you know, when, when you don't know what freedom is, because you've been brought up from the age of seven in a war zone, you get up in, in the morning and you think, oh, my God, I'm free. You wake up in the middle of the night in England, and if there's a noise, it's because maybe there's kids outside. The way I grew up, it was we were being taken over. The terrorists were everywhere. They were going to kill us. Do you understand? So the minute you don't realize how amazing it is to be free, and so I fight for our freedom. To me. When you don't have your freedom, you don't have a life. And the truth will set you free. <laughs> so that's it. I just wanted to give you the first program today from me. Uh, and it's going to be called something about the light and the dark and how we have to look at both. And today I want you to really, really focus on the light. I want you to know that the light is coming from the dark. They cannot take the human spirit in any way, shape or form. They can't do it. They have tried for God knows how long to divide us. They have tried to destroy us. They have tried to take away the human spirit. Moving on TV is here, and I am here to tell you that the minute you can look at the dark, the minute you can bring that dark up, like I did in the therapeutic community and got 100% in a piece, and BPD went out the door, you get well. You are amazing. You are unique. And I want you on here on Moving On TV. I want you on here doing interviews. I want you on here hosting. Do your own shows. As long as it ends with hope. It opens with hope and it ends with hope. Not necessarily hope me, but hope for the human race. And then you put the bit in the middle and then it ends with hope. I'm writing my book on and off. It's called How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World. We can purchase the cards, How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World. I'll put a link to it. But more than anything, help us grow moving on TV. Help us grow the positivity and the love. I want to interview all of you. You're all amazing. You've all got fantastic stories. Me and Ange are doing our own show, as you'll see, the, Lauren, the Ange and Lauren show. <laughs> uh, two awake blondes come on board moving on TV and live in the light every single day do gratitude 
be grateful for your family. Be grateful. And as I said to you, you have to bring up the dark in order to live in the light. It's the only way. And when you're, you're brave enough to break away from the matrix, to stop taking that blue pill and start taking that little red pill or that big red pill, it, it depends on how long you've been in the matrix. You will start to understand that every single person here, whether you're from here or you're from another planet, which I feel I am, <laughs> lots of us do feel they are, star seeds, you will know why you're here. You will know what your job is. And I want to know why you're here. I want to know what your job is. And I want to help you realize your big dream because every single one of you is here for a reason. And if you're here to work for the human race and to help the human race by doing what you love, by waking up the human race through your self-awakening, like wonderful people out there that I intend to interview. We've interviewed Paul Buggy Brighton, and he's an amazing healer, and that will go on. Hopefully, we're going to interview Paul McDonald and the Positivity Center and talk about all the amazing light that's going on, the beds, the sound, the light and sound, which President Trump is talking about, which they're already using. People that we bring on that are working for the good to release the children, to give you hope for your kids. Because guys, we need to wake up and we need to wake up quickly. These beings, that 1%, 1% that has no love, no common sense. They're stupid. These people are stupid. Why we call them people? These beings are stupid. They're just a machine. They're like a machine. We have this. It's called a heart. We have this. Common sense. Brain with a common sense. We have a right side. We're creative. All they have is... The, sorry. I'm not sure which side is the creative side. The right side, I think, is the creative side. So please correct me if it isn't. They are... Com no. The body, sorry. They are completely right-sided, grounded. They have nothing else. They have no left side of the body. The left side of the body is your emotions, your creativity, everything that makes us human. We have empathy. We have love. We have cuddles. We have hugs. We have that inner strength. We have our music. We have singing. We have dancing. We have pleasure. We have so many things that make us human. We cry, we break, and then we come back. We jump back up there and we do it again. We jump right back on the horse. And that's what you've got to do every single day. Now that I've done that, this transmission, I feel I've done my job. I will go out there and I'll get it on as soon as possible. What is your job? Is your job just to be a mum? Just to be a mum and feed your kids at the moment and feed them healthy food and smoothies and salads and tell them. Tell them about the light. Protect them and bring them up in the light and the love. So everyone is out there. Let's shine a big light. We're moving on TV. I love you. Peace, shalom, salam, shanti to all my fellow men, no matter who you are. And the good beings that are out there. Don't forget there's lots of beings of light, beautiful beings of light, beautiful aliens i'm sure they're there and i'm sure we're going to have an exciting awakening we are having an exciting exciting awakening i love you all and to those who i said i do not consent those beings that are trying to do things to us without our consent we do not consent we are the light <laughs> we are love we are laughter we are light and we have a huge, huge alliance of light and love. And you cannot win. <laughs> you can't win. It's impossible. So there's a positive bringing the hope and the glory. 
back into each and every one of you, your lives. Please get in touch with me. I love it when people get in touch with me. You find me on Facebook and Moving On TV or Hope Glory. Some of you are on my Facebook, Lauren Ottiwell, my friends. And um, you can also contact me on 07437 532798. I love this. I love technology when I can use it. I've taught myself how to edit everything and how to do these programs. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it when I can do that. And that's what they gave me when they gave the internet. And you can contact me at lauren.movingontheater at gmail.com. And I'm going to put a program on every day. I'm going to grow the subscribers. Please subscribe down below. And if you can, donations are very welcome because this is my job now. As you know, I got sacked because I was a whistleblower. And I will tell my story at some point on here. Love you lots. Kisses and peace and everything. And I shall see you soon. <laughs>